Hi guys, it's Frugal Gal here. I'm going to be opening this bag of jewelry. If you watched my previous video, if not, go back and watch it. It's just a couple minutes long. I explained where I got these from Shop Goodwill. And I'm going to open the one that is, it's actually weighed, I weighed it right before I came on. It weighs 3 pounds, 13.9 ounces. It was supposed to weigh just 3.5 pounds, so it's a little over that. So I'm really happy with it. Now, it was listed as a craft item grab bag. Um, that's fine. A lot of times in these from Shop Goodwill, you'll find good wearable jewelry. Got it for a great price and two cent shipping. Go over there and watch that video. Um, it's got a little hole here, so I think I'll just start getting it open like that. I have a couple of these tubs back here that you get at. These are great. You get them at the Dollar Tree. Of course, love the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm going to kind of sort it out like good and then craft stuff. But it's okay to get craft because I resell craft items to people who do crafts. So we're going to get into it. Uh, excuse my boo-boo in my hand. I looked down a while ago and I was bleeding. I have no idea what I did. But hey, that's the way it goes. Got me some iced tea over here because for some reason I have been crazy with an iced tea. Like crazy for the last four or five days. And um, yeah. You just drink water. So first off, what I see in here, I'll scooch you down, is uh, some beads. Not beads. Why did I say beads? Not beads. Start with a B, but they're not beads. Buttons. I do have a jar with some buttons in it that I've been keeping when I get um, fine buttons in, in uh, jewelry lots. Because I know some people craft with these. So these are already, um, they look like they're in their bag from like when you tear them off clothing. You know how when you get one of these in a little bag on your clothing? So I'll put these with um, the other beads in the jar. Take them out of here. And somebody could have some nice buttons to either use or use for crafts. Alrighty. There's one of those paracord bracelets. Now I wouldn't call that craft. But it is a little... Well, it was a little frayed right there so let's just get rid of that all right what do we got here uh keychain always can use keychains always look good at your keychains though too because this is marked right here let's zoom in on it and see if it's like some designer brand or something you never know what is that some sort of animal on there i don't know all right well we're gonna make this one i guess over here the well, that's good. That can resell. We'll put it over here. We'll put left resell, right craft. Okay. Okay, here's a string of pearls. Let's see. They are, they do have a spring ring class. So, and they are not knotted in between, but that's resellable. Faux pearls. I noticed that some things fell out of here like um, straight pins. Here's some safety pins. I don't need safety pins, but, you know, you can use them. You might need them sometime. What we got? Here we got a keychain from California. San Jose, the Golden State, California. Find the sign. That's resellable. And sometimes you can use those little things like that for gifts. Oh, look, a pretty, oh, that's not pretty. Never mind. I thought it was a butterfly. That's kind of scary, but it's a bookmark. You can get these away like for free gifts, too. What is with my light here? Can that make it go higher? I've got my ring light on here. And here's another. This is a bookmark. This is a pretty bookmark. I might go give this to my mom. She likes, she usually uses the magnetic ones. But you can put a picture in the frame. It's never been open. It's resellable or giftable. Here we go. I don't know what this is. Somebody crafted it and we're going to put it over in the craft lot and we're going to turn on another light there we go that's better okay we have some little kids bracelets these are resellable um you have little granddaughters or daughter those over there got some bricks i ought to put these in craft though just in case okay I don't really like these kind of bracelets. I don't know if anybody really would buy those. I'm going to just pitch it, actually. See, there's a stick pin in there. Ooh, I don't want to get stuck. You have got to be careful. Stick pins. 
This is a cute little clip on. You can put it in your hair. You could put it on your clothes. I'll put that in resell. Now, some people do like these. So, I know Jen Layton said her son slips and doesn't like these. So, I'll put over there. Maybe send that to her. One of those Live Strong prices. That was Lance Armstrong. He kind of did some bad things, didn't he? Yeah. This is We Love Dina. Don't know who that is. Okay, what is this? Some kind of bead that somebody made. So we'll put that in crafting. Oh, well, those are little kids bracelet. Stuff like this I just don't keep. I don't, I try to sell little kid stuff and then people don't buy it. Well, I guess I could put it with that little kid stuff. Here is a necklace with a spring ring clasp. These beads are just like plastic, but they're nice plastic, if that makes sense. And that is going in the resale. Oh, somebody made one of those bracelets with um, rubber bands. These are a band like the kind you put in your, you have to wear when you have a, if you ever had braces, I had braces when I was a kid. Not fun. You'd be, you'd be eating your lunch at school and bing, they'd pop out of your mouth. Fly across the table. Yeah, wasn't great for making friends. But that's a pretty necklace, I like that. Those are, kind of like wooden beads. Spring ring class. I like that. Vintage. Pair of earrings fill out. Those metal ones from the 80s that just make your ears hurt looking at them. Some hair bands that are going to be. But they got two earrings. They got a pair of earrings piggybacking on them. They don't match. But I'm kind of coming at this from a different angle, guys. So I hope you guys can see. We'll see if we can find these earrings because they look nice. Right. This is kind of. This is hurt my shoulder going at from this angle. Bear with me. I don't want to put my elbows on the table too much because it squeaks so bad. There's an 80s earring, but at least it's plastic. Put that down there. We'll sort out the earrings. We got a button. Delta Airlines. I noticed both these bags that I got had a lot of buttons in them. I remember buttons were popular when I was about in fifth grade. And that would have been 1985, 86. And uh, here's a couple more buttons like this, but I'm talking about like pins or buttons. We always call them buttons. I always wanted a button maker so I can make these. I don't know. These might sell as a vintage item. Pair them all together. So I'm going to put it in sell. The other bag has a bunch of big ones in there. It's a cute little bracelet that I would use for that lot of little kid stuff. So I'm going to put these little kid stuff. I'm going to transfer them from craft over to sell because I can bag that up and sell them as a lot of kids jewelry for real cheap. And like this, this would be cute for a little kid. It's got a little fairy on it. A little necklace. It's cute. Here's some more buttons. We used to put these buttons all over our jean jackets. Remember jean jackets? Oh, the jean jackets are coming back in. This says ho ho. I don't think it means for that time of year. I think it means yeah ho ho. Oh well. It was a 99 cents and it's USM Huskies. Whoever that is. University of, I don't know. I saw this in here. I thought it was cute. It's like a Chinese pig. Is that one of the year here, the pig? Probably. That's cute. Okay, here's a little friendship bracelet that can go in a little girl's lot. Here's just some lace stuff. We don't want to keep that. Here's another button we're going to put over there. I don't want to jump this all out on my table because I don't want to go over. Oh, I could use one of these. I like it. I put these and put my keys on them. Oh, that's mine. Here, here's a big button. Hope it's not. Oh, it's Harry Potter. I don't care for Harry Potter. We're going to throw that away. Don't like the message of it. Okay, this is a keychain that says 22nd of September. Lincoln Issues Emancipation Proclamation. Fleeing Slaves. Blah, blah, blah. 1862, Solidarity Union formed in Poland. Oh, 1980, I was born. Oh, it's giving you know, different things that that um, people born on this day tend to follow rather than lead. 
I don't think I'll keep it. Was anybody else born on September 22nd? You want this? I'll go ahead and keep it. If you want it, tell me. If you're born on September 22nd, it's yours. Here is a bangle bracelet. Put that over my little kid's lot. Another one of those bracelets is John 316. And John 112 and Hebrews. So that's nice. Uh, oh, I see Spidey Man. Oh, look at this. Spider Man. Um, is this supposed to light up or something? Because it looks like it should. I might sell. Maybe it was a McDonald's toy or something. Kind of looks like something that would have been a McDonald's toy. It was Marvel. Eh, we'll put it to resell for kids. I like these beads because these beads are, I know what they are. They're like, they're seeds. Some kind of seeds and then they paint them. I just think those are pretty. Isn't that pretty? Well, purple is my favorite color, so I would think it's that's pretty. Here we go. These are some nice beads on here. I can't no, they're not glass, but they're really they're nice plastic beads. Uh no closure, so you just throw it over your head. Good resell. Oh, little kids. Oh, look at the little locket. I thought that was part of the thing, but no. Somebody's little locket. If you don't have the key, you can't get it back open. Another one of these says... Oh, this is for... Um, this is, I love boobies, but it's for breast cancer awareness. Ooh, look at these little chips. Are they shell chips? Or are they rocks? You guys let me know. Shells or rocks? The resellable, I know that. Here is some seashells. I will keep these for a little bit. Usually I throw these away. If anybody likes seashells, just tell me. I'll send them to you. You pay for the shipping, you can have them. Along with these, I don't care for seashell stuff. Oh, let's get this out of here. You've seen this orange. That's some cuff bracelet. That's neat. It's clean. Yeah, that's nice. That's resellable. Okay, what else we got in here? What is this? Harbor, Harbor Breeze? What's Harbor Breeze? Is it a, what is it? A pencil sharpener or something? I don't know, we'll put it over in the craft until we figure out what it is. I like these beads. They remind me of Skittles. Spring Ring Class. Nice little short necklace. We sell a lot. Put those together in a lot of vintage necklaces. What's this? What is this? Fine fashion jewelry by Sarah Coventry. Oh, this is an old Sarah Coventry. Oh, look, vintage Sarah Coventry. I'm put this on my vintage Sarah Coventry Facebook group. Uh, still in its original box. Cool. Isn't that pretty? Fine fashion jewelry by Sarah Coventry. Oh, it's old because it's all turned. Look, nobody's ever wore it. That is neat. 869. I'll have to look it up. It's kind of, that needs to be clean because it's all tarnished yellow. I'm going to put that to the side and put that on my Sarah Coventry shirt with my group. Got some more buttons. Buttons, buttons. Anybody interested in buttons? I'll have a big jar of buttons. Let's see another keychain. What's this? The currency of Ireland. And then it has the different currencies of Ireland. Cool. It's resellable. Put it in a keychain lot. Um, I'm not going to save that. It's really, really plasticky. Oh, here we found the other earring. Nice. There's a little earring that's a piece of leather. I don't think I keep that, but... Hey, what's this over here? Whataburger! Whataburgers! Are they still around? Whataburgers? There's a keychain still originally in this thing. So, we will save that and resell it. Some of that stuff you'd be surprised. People collect certain things and it will sell. 
Here's another keychain, the letter E. I used to kind of get upset when I got keychains and jewelry because they're not jewelry. But this being a crafting lot, I can understand. This is a pin. That's a breast cancer survivor pin. So we will keep that and put it in a lot of pins. That's broke. You see me going that way with it, you know it's going on the floor in the trash. The recovery looks like this. I don't like these. This is just like. Well, it's got beads on there though. I guess I could take those beads off. I don't know if you'd want to mess with it though. I don't like it. Ooh, I love um, bangle bracelets. What is that on there? Is that oh, fresh that doll? is neat. But you know, this looks like a kid's bracelet. It's not very. It's not like black lacquer or something, but oh, that's resellable. Neat. Somebody's got a short, I mean, not a short, but a small wrist. Here's some of those 80s metal earrings that, uh, look a little hanger! Metal earrings that hurt your ears. Look at that little hanger. How adorable is that? That's adorable. That's adorable. That goes in the craft lot. I got a lot of these bracelets. Ooh, what's this? It almost was like a teething ring. I know it's not. Eh, I'm throwing it away. I don't like the feel of it. It feels okay. Okay, this is 40th National Convention of Modern Woodmen of America, 2006 keychain. Orlando. Some people collect keychains. Little button. I got another one of these. What are these? These harbor, harbor what? Breeze? What's like a pencil sharper? I don't know. It's all in craft. No, that's it. Throw away. Clips. Don't need hair clips. I should have put a trash can over here. Here's a pair of uh, uh, earrings. We have some earrings right here. Let's see what we in the frame. Here's some vintage beads. We'll put those in there. Uh, vintage bead necklace. That this needs to be restrung. That is a glass bead, I think. That's broken. Let's put that in craft. There's some loose beads in here. Go over here so you can see it. See down here. That one's, that one's class. We're going to put those over in crafters lot. Ooh, that's an interesting earring. I hope we find the right one. Another button. It is the I'm a fan of the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Uh, bead. We're not going to show this because it says something like inappropriate. that. That can go in that little kid's lot. I'm going to make up. You might interested in a little kid's lot, let me know. It won't cost very much. You have a little granddaughter or something. I don't know what they were doing with these. But it's interesting. Got some buttons. Praise the Lord button. And inappropriate word button. You got all these buttons for us home, do you? There's a peace sign and a heart button. Mm, these are buttons like you sew on. The never ending story too. You know that's vintage. Uh, and how about anything great in here yet? A lot of crafters items. But I think I'll be able to make my money back just by sorting these out and like doing a lot of keychains. Like here's a New York keychain. Oh, I like this necklace. I like these these beads. But 
towards this. There's a 9-11 button to commemorate that. that a keychain? Mother of twins. Okay, not sure, huh? Oh, I'm going to away. Alright, let's see. Oh, a slap bracelet! You gotta love the slap bracelets. Oh, this one's worn out. I think it won't slap. Oh, it's it's stretched out. It won't, won't stay open so you can slap it. Ah, poo. Can have fun slapping a slot bracelet. There's just some beads on it. I will put in the crafting lot. Oh, these are little. Oh, look, they're little owl beads. You see the little owls? Put that in the crafting lot. These beads on a string will go in the crafting lot. A lot of safety pins. They must have wanted to get rid of their safety pins. They didn't have a trash can nearby. There's some beads with those in the crafting lot. Pearl necklace. Pretty good shape. Nice. Are they glass? You can't tell. They're nice shape. There's some earrings that nope, they don't match. Never mind. Put those for little kids. Put those for little kids. Don't want hair bands. Or I'm gonna turn it off from it. And I'm gonna sort the rest of that. Is this a? This is a can. This is a can opener, isn't it? Teaching. Okay. I'll sort this out right here. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I sorted it out, and what I have left is this stuff. And I have this little pin, and I do believe that this is the state of Georgia because I think there's a peach on it. Is that Georgia? Well, we're gonna say it is. I've got these um, beads, like these necklaces, that I'm going to put in the crafter's lot. Along with this one, and these, and these. I just don't feel like they're good enough to resell on their own. But so I can restring them. There's a little piece um, of extender here. It's a real pretty extender. So I'm going to put that in the craft. Now, I did find this little, um, uh, best way to do it is just to put it out here and let you see it. This little seed bead necklace, it's just cute. And then these beads here, these beads here are glass and they got little flowers on them. Found this little pin looks like a little dress. Pin like, the pin like this. And then I found some earrings. I didn't find the other one of that earring, so I'm gonna put that in the crafter's lot. Put on these earrings. These are really nice, they're glass. I like those, those are probably my favorite. And then another small pair like that. They're not if they're not glass, they're um oh what do you call it? Oh resin. I've got resin. Got these earrings. These some more 80s earrings, which I will bag up with those other metal ones. I did find the other one of this, so I like those. And these. Nice. I found this one earring that um, has a little stone. There's a stone wrapped around or glass or something. I didn't find the other one, so I'm going to put that in the crack because I think somebody could use that as a pendant. It's wire wrapped. So, the best thing I found out of here was the Vintage Sarah Coventry. I'm going to look that up, see how old that is, and I'll put at the end of the video how old it is. Share it on my Facebook page. Did find um, some stuff that will have to just be thrown away. Um, a lot of crafter stuff, but that's what it was, that was, what, you know, what it was called. So, um, didn't find as great a stuff as I would have liked to, but still, you never know. You have to take a chance when you're buying new things that you've never bought before. Thanks for watching. Please go down there and subscribe if you have it. I only need like four more to make a thousand. And give me a thumbs up. And look, I got my finger dirty. Ew. Dirty, dirty jewelry. Dirty jewelry underneath the nails. Yuck. All right, guys. I'll let you go. Bye. And leave comments, too. I like reading comments.